Okay, so this is a um, lesson from another art teacher, um, The Color Thief. So I just wanted to give her credit for um, her lesson um, over graffiti art and gradient lesson. So I'm just gonna make a video on what m my expe expectations of you are. So what we're gonna first practice on, first you should have um, looked over the PowerPoint and then um, you should have art written out. I've already kind of shown you the shadowing effect. So if the light source is over here, pointing this way, then the shadow is going to be on the back side of it, on this side. So this marker is kind of fat. So I'm just going to like trace over it just to kind of make it bold. Then I'm going to add the shadow on the back side. So I'm just going to kind of add an extra line. It's not the best shadow, but it'll work. And then kind of on the bottom because it's coming from the top um, right hand side. Okay. So there I've added my shadow. Now for the second thing that you really need to know um, about this, the most important part is the gradient or like the blending of the color. So um, you can either do crayon or color pencil or oil pastels, but I think crayon or color pencils work the best. So you're gonna pick three colors. So I'm choosing these three for the color pencils and these colors for the um, crayons. I try to pick um, almost the same type of color. So I'm going to practice down here at the bottom first. So I'm going to take my darkest color pencil and I'm going to color really hard just for a little section where it's almost shiny. Then I'm going to grab the other and I'm going to do the same thing, but the opposite direction. Now I just want to take the colors and kind of blend in to the middle. I can do this by layering and using a light hand with the pencils. So if I need it to blend a little bit, I'll just add a little bit of layering. All right, then I'm gonna take the white. This will really help blend it together. I'm gonna start in the middle. Then it just blends really well. Also with color pencil, you can um, use a little bit of baby oil and that kind of helps blend it as well. I feel like I need a little bit dark, darker. You can kind of adjust it where you need to. All right, so now I'm gonna show you with the crayon. So I'm gonna do the exact same thing. Probably don't have to color as hard with the crayon, but color is hard where it's shiny and there's no uh, like paper gaps. going to get the white and the white also helps it blend a little bit evenly and then those are your two examples so I should see uh, whatever example you're using you don't have to do both of them now I'm just going to show you how to do it in the lettering so um, I guess I want my dark up top
going to start blending down about halfway. You almost kind of blend in with the other color. Right, now I want to even out um, um, where it's not like a line from dark to light and I'm just going to kind of layer it right here. So I just kind of lightly go over it and color it and then kind of let go of the pressure on the pencil as I go up. I'm going to do the same thing. So I start with a little bit of pressure and then I kind of let up and I lightly I just want to transition this really dark part to the lighter part to help it fade. I'm going to get the white and I'm going to try not to get it on this black and kind of go up. You can see the um, there's blue a little bit on the pencil. Or like I said, if you have a little um, baby oil, you can just put it on a Q-tip and it'll really smooth out the color pencil, make it look really nice. And with the white, I'm adding a lot of pressure to really smooth out um, the gradient. You might notice you need to go back and add a little bit of a certain, you know, shade or color. So there would be the color pencil. And now I'll just kind of, you can do the same thing with the crayon. Seems like the crayon's a little bit easier if you're using Crayola. If you use the waxier crayons, like the Rose Art, then they're not as, um, they leave like little wax buildup on the paper. With the red, I'm kind of just like um, coloring into the red violet color. Now I'm just going to get my white and blend it a little bit better. and kind of go back in there. All right, and so that is how you do that. I'll show you how to do the um, oil pastel, but um, it's I don't really like it as much. It's pretty much like using a really waxy crayon that some uh, baby oil will help smooth it out or using like the white. You can 
just kind of go over. And then um, here's a white. Just want to kind of go. I made a mess of my paper, but I just kind of wanted to go dark to light. That's kind of how you would do the oil pastel if you have those available. And then um, you might want to outline this in like a different bolder color, the outline. And then you're gonna have like a kind of like a background design like on the PowerPoint um, of the color thief PowerPoint. 